Today, we are looking at the cloister graveyard in the snow created in the early 18th century by Caspar David Friedrich. Friedrich was a German romantic landscape painter, generally considered the most important German artist of his generation. He is best known for his mid-period allegorical landscapes, which typically feature contemplative figures silhouetted against night skies, morning mists, barren trees, or gothic ruins. The Cloister Graveyard in the Snow is one of the two paintings created by Friedrich showing a very somber image of the landscape. This was one of the ways De Friedrich depicted the landscapes in order to show issues of human life and of the divine. This painting shows the ruins of an old cathedral as well as a succession of figures holding a coffin. This symbolizes the transience of human existence or the passage of time. The painting also shows that it is a dead of winter, adding on to the bleakness of the painting. The Gothic cathedral is shown broken down in every part, including the window. The windows give the feeling of grandeur, but with it broken down, it shows the futility of human effort and how nature and time overcomes all. Nature is eternal, while human creation is transient. Not only is nature more significant than humans in that nature is eternal, but nature is also a lot larger. In the painting, the monks are much smaller than the apse of the Gothic cathedral, showing how small the humans are compared to the structure. Then the viewer begins to realize that the forest itself is much larger than the ruins of the Gothic cathedral. In this painting, while it may seem very dull and melancholy, nature is quite sublime. Sublime is impressing the mind with a sense of grandeur or power or inspiring awe in someone. In the middle of the painting are some monks still conducting the funeral, however, everything from the tombstones to the crosses is falling into disrepair. Just next to the Gothic ruins are some old trees, showing how nature has stood longer than any tradition or religion, including Christianity. The painting goes farther into the timelessness of nature by showing the grandness of the trees. If we turn our attention to the tree on the left, we cannot tell where it ends. Both of the trees are placed in front of the cathedral, symbolizing that nature is a dominating force in the world, and anything humans create cannot compete. These grand trees frame the cathedral, which is a human creation, showing how nature has overpowered the setting of the painting. While the composition of the painting focuses our attention to the cathedral, we realize that if it were not for the trees, there would not be a focus. Here we can see nature fighting back. We destroyed nature by building a church on beautiful land and left nothing but death behind as we see with the tombstones. The Gothic cathedral was destroyed by nature. Now nature is taking time to repair itself. Nature always finds a way to repair itself through the natural cycle.